So I've got one pound of capellini. I'm going to put in a big pot of boiling salted water. Bravissima, Ina, bravissima. So the first thing I need is a half a pound of butter. I know, I know. You like butter, Ina. We know you like butter. It's okay. It's okay. You like it. I know, I know. It's fine. A very simple lemon pasta with garlic. Why do you put garlic everywhere? I need to understand this. Why? 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 Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we react to funny, good, bad Italian video recipes and also where we learn everything about Italian cuisine. Today we are reacting to the most popular pasta al limone videos. A pasta I really love that I want you to eat it the right, perfect way. The first video we are reacting to is from a lady I really, really love. Ina Garten. She is so beautiful and I want to see how she makes pasta al limone. She was not really good with the arrabbiata, but maybe today she's going to impress me. Lemon capellini is just about the fastest weeknight pasta meal you can make. And one of the reasons is because the capellini is so thin, it cooks in two to three minutes. Well, yeah, fantastic. So it's a quick pasta. I like it. Capellini, it's a pasta I don't really use, but yeah, it is thin, so it's quick to use, and it's a fantastic weeknight option. So I've got one pound of capellini. I'm going to put in a big pot of boiling salted water. Bravissima, Ina, bravissima. That's a lot of pasta, so you must be feeding the family tonight, and I like to use a lot of water with salt. Brava. And the amazing thing is, the sauce doesn't take much longer to make. It's lemons and butter. So okay, so basically you're making the sauce while the pasta cooks. If the pasta takes three minutes, you have to make the sauce in less than three minutes. Are you ready for that? Because if you have the pasta ready, but your sauce is not ready, that pasta will be die in the colander or wherever you leave it. Pasta should go straight into the sauce. So please make a quick sauce. So the first thing I need is a half a pound of butter. I know, I know. You like butter, you know, we know you like butter. It's okay, it's okay, you like it. I know, I know, it's fine. It's a lot of butter, but after a bad day at work, it's always good. <laughs> okay, it's a choice, it's a preference. I prefer to use extra virgin olive oil for my pasta limone or for any other pastas. You want butter, va bene. Two lemons, I need the zest and the juice. Yes. So I just want to get the very, very thin yellow part of the lemon. And remember, you always want to zest them before you juice them. Yeah. I'm going to do a second lemon. This pasta is really versatile. You can even serve it with a little shrimp. Or yeah, shrimps. Um, I've actually eaten in Rome shrimps and lime. Cacio e pepe. That was sensational. So you imagine you're mixing the lemon pasta you replace the lemon with lime, with the cacio pepe, and then you add the shrimps. <laughs> what a fantastic experience. I prefer cacio pepe classic, I prefer lemon uh, pasta classic, but it's a nice experience. Chicken, or if you've had a really bad day at the office, you can just have it all by itself. It's a lot of lemon zest, but you really want a lot of flavor. It's never enough, Ina, so brava. Put so much in there. Lemon zest right into the butter and then the juice of both lemons yeah yes beautiful lots of flavor in this pasta i love my little juicer she's so fancy Ina. so fancy so fast fancy and fast you definitely want to use fresh lemon juice i'm not a big fan of anything but fresh lemon juice it always has that like awful metallic flavor I have to agree with Ina. I know you can buy the lemon juice already in a little bottle, which is okay, but um, lemon, fresh lemon, those beautiful flavors, I just, you can't replace them. Even if you juice lemons in advance, like a day or two and leave it in the fridge, it just doesn't taste the same. It's true, Ina, you know your food. Okay, this goes right into the pan with the butter and the lemon zest. One teaspoon of salt. You don't need salt in the sauce, in, I'm sorry. Just put salt in the pasta. You do not need the salt in the, in, I, I, know, I know you like salty food, that's okay. My nonna does it too. But you don't need salt in there. One teaspoon of pepper. Pepper is good. Just swirl it around. I think the pasta's done. 
You know what I like to do to my lemon pasta? I like to add mint, fresh mint. You can put basil too, but fresh mint really goes so well with the lemon. You have to try, you know, please try. And this is the key to the whole thing. Instead of draining the water, what I'm going to do is take the pasta and put it right into the sauce. And then it's going to cook in the sauce for you know, just about a minute or two, and it's going to absorb all the butter and the lemon. But don't throw That's a fantastic technique. So let's say the packet says it takes 10 minutes to boil the pasta. You take it out maybe at eight minutes, maybe nine minutes. What you do is you finish to cook the pasta in the pan. It's gonna help to combine all the ingredients. You put the flame up. What you do, you basically help the pasta to absorb that liquid to make love with all these beautiful ingredients. Out the pasta water because actually, if the sauce gets a little too thick, you can always take a little of the pasta water, which has some starch in it, and thin it out a little bit. Yes. Toss it all together so all the lemon and the butter and the zest and all the seasonings get all mixed in. My choice, it would be to use spaghettone, and I kind of really love the thick spaghetti or top quality spaghetti. She did use the Checo, a good brand, but Capellini, it's very thin. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Uh, or like vermicelli pasta, I'm not a big fan, but it's okay. Well, it's a weeknight, and it's just about dinner time. So I just want to make sure this is really good. So I'm gonna just do one serving like this. And I think it needs a little lemon zest on top. Brava. Now I would say weeknight dinner doesn't get any easier than this or more delicious. Bellissima Ina, brava, 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 really like it. Um, I liked everything you've done. It's beautiful, it's delicious. There's nothing to say, everything is delicious. Maybe the salt you don't need. Maybe you don't need the butter, but again, it's your personal choice, so you've done a very good job, Ina. The next video we're watching is from uh, another channel I really love, Sam the Cooking Guy. I love him, I love everything he does. Maybe with the pastas he needs some help, but he's the one that introduced me to the gnocchi cacio pepe, and I will always be grateful for this. Can he make lemon pasta? Let's find out. A very simple lemon pasta with garlic. Okay, he said, lemon pasta with garlic. Why do you put garlic everywhere? I need to understand this. Please tell me, because is there a reason why you put the garlic in there? Why do you need the garlic everywhere? Why? 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 I have pasta boiling, about a quarter pound. Just generally for one person, they say. We'll see. It's a very small pot, but I guess it's only for one person. Uh, it's just spaghetti, thin spaghetti. Again, you go for thin spaghetti. Okay, why, why do you guys like it thin? I like it thick spaghetti. Uh, olive oil, and I'm gonna use about a quarter of a cup. I like all the extra virgin olive oil, so bravo, Sam. We get along. It's hard to measure in a flame. Yeah, don't measure extra virgin olive oil. Put as much as you like. Quanto basta. Garlic will go in. There we go. I think the crushed garlic with that machine there, it's my favorite way. It's my favorite way because by crushing the garlic that way, all the flavors of the garlic come outside and it's just beautiful. Do you need garlic in this pasta? In my opinion, no, because you don't want the garlic to take over. You really want the lemon to be the main ingredient together with maybe a basil or mint or whatever, but lemon should really take over. I don't want this uh, browning, so sizzling right away. There is a, a trick that you can use so you don't burn the garlic. Just put a tablespoon, even two tablespoons of water in that saucepan. So that way you avoid the garlic to burn. Gets a couple other things. It's going to get a little pinch of red pepper flakes. Mm. Because okay, that's basically the base of uh, aglio e olio. So maybe it's doing aglio olio with limone, which is actually good. It's not bad. It's very good. It's going to get some lemon zest. I like that it's actually doing this straight on the saucepan. That's what I also do. I like to have half done on uh, cooked in the saucepan, and then I put the rest, the fresh one, on top for decoration. Pretty much what Ina did, and he's doing the same, I believe. The super, super lemony part. If you don't have a good zester, you really should uh, you should get one. It's perfect for citrus. You can shave chocolate with it, not that I do that, but we're also gonna use this for the Parmesan cheese. Mm. I agree, fantastic idea. 
With Parmesan cheese, it could be a little bit tricky. Um, best to get one for the Parmesan cheese, but I agree with him. He can use it in any occasion. He can use it for anything, including Parmesan cheese. Pecorino. So now it's just starting to sizzle, right? You can smell it right here, right here. And we're gonna go with about half of a lemon. So Ina used two lemons, very, very generous. He's using uh, maybe one, but he should do the job because he's only making pasta for one, so there's not that many ingredients. It's got, it's got so much garlic, but it's okay. There will be salt coming to this. Not quite yet. Guys, that's um, chili pepper. That's chili flakes, okay? Don't, don't get confused. Don't think it's burnt garlic. It's chili flakes. Mm. Let's check our pasta. Wow. I think this is perfect. Please don't throw it on the wall, Sam. No, don't throw the pass on the wall. And you just throw it. And voila. Perfect. It's perfect. Look how fast. Look how fast. It's actually cooking this gently. You know, it's not way too hot. It's done the right way. Especially fast when you have your stuff ready, right, Max? Oh, yeah. Let me just uh, keep a little pasta water. Bravo, bravo, Sam. Bravo, bravo. Just in case I need to thin this guy out, I can drain my pasta. Always do it. If you take the pasta water, then you can throw out the rest of the water. It's fine. So you do that in the sink. Not messy. Okay, this is doing all the right things. All the right things. I like how Sam cooks. I prefer when he cooks outside. He's got a beautiful outdoor space and I love when he's outside. I like the way he moves. He's, you know, that dominant uh, personality in the kitchen. And now, pasta goes in. See, this to me, this now looks like, looks like kind of a, a, a large, amount of pasta, doesn't it? It does. You probably use a good pasta, that what it does when you use a good pasta, it grows when you cook it. It can even double in size. If you if you use a good artisan pasta, that's what the pasta does. It grows when you cook it, okay? And, and maybe that's why you see this. I like that you're combining all the ingredients, which is very, very, very good. Maybe because of the amount of pasta you have, you might need to add a little bit more lemon. See so how you go. Just let it sit there for a sec. I want to give it a little bit of salt. Everything. See, I see people doing this, and Stan is not the only one. Okay, you like salt, do it. But is there need to put the salt in there? Do you need to add salt? You add salt in the boiling water when you cook the pasta. So the pasta has the flavors because it's been cooking in a salty water. Do you need the extra salt? I don't believe you do. And now some of the Parmesan I want to put right in here. So I'm just going to grate. Okay, it's grating very well, this thing. I always have the large Parmigiano Pecorino grater, the big one, because I do a lot. But it's, uh, I like it. I never use this for Parmigiano, to be honest, because, like I said, I've got my own Parmigiano grater, but I like the way it comes out. And now this we can mix again. Pasta water. Where's the pasta water? You forgot to add it. Or did I... Miss that. I don't know how much trouble I'm going to be in because I didn't have the parsley ready. Max is very particular these days about how he likes this stuff done. And here's what I've got. I've got the curly parsley. Why? Why are you putting parsley? Parsley is not giving you that kick that you want, Mr. Sam. I love you, Sam. But no parsley. This is something that Gordon Ramsay will do. But you, you, you can cook better pasta than Gordon Ramsay. I've seen you cooking pasta. You're better than Gordon. Use basil or mint. I can't stress this enough. The mint, <laughs> it's really good in lemon pasta. You should try, but no, don't put pasta. Just don't put anything. Which I call the forgotten parsley. Because I think people are always overlooking this in favor of that fancy Italian parsley. Why do you say so low? Italian parsley. Italian parsley. You don't have to use parsley, just don't use it. OK, 
Okay, beautiful. Let's plate it. It didn't use pasta water, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Look, there's there's much more beautiful ways to plate pasta than what I just did. No, Sam, no, don't worry about don't worry about what these fancy chefs do. Pasta is comfort food. It's something that you eat every day if you can, if you want, and it should just be comfortable in the plate that you eat. Don't worry about making it fancy. So I'm with you, Sam. Serve it this way, eat it, enjoy it. It looks beautiful, you know. Don't worry about the presentation. This looks fantastic the way it is. See, I think that's a good amount for one person. Oh, come on, Sam, you don't need much. I need at least five times more. <laughs> but now it definitely needs more cheese, which is right here and right here. Nice. Wow. There you go. There you go. Simple pasta spaghetti. Could be anything with lemon, a little garlic, some Parmesan cheese, and some parsley. Bellissimo, bellissimo. He, he basically combined uh, aglio e olio with lemon, which it is made in Italy. They make it this way. You make aglio e olio with limone. It's fantastic, it's delicious. He didn't make any mistakes. Everything is beautiful, it's done well, and I want to have a nice meal with Sam. I think this is the only time he made pasta and I'm very happy with every single step. Really good job, Sam. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on, Just eat. give it a little twirl. Bravo, Sam. Bravo. Bravo, Sam. All right. It is so perfect in the lemon. And a nice little amount of garlic, more, I think I would have been sorry over. Okay, if you're making spaghetti aglio, yes, you need to put more garlic. I agree. But this was like a combination, lemon pasta, garlic, so it's okay, you know, just you don't always need that much garlic. Honestly, Sam, I want a plate of this. I want to eat with you right now, Sam. Wow. That's really good. And the pasta is cooked al dente, so there's still a little firmness to it. Bravo, bravo. Come on, man. You gotta have time to whip this up. Whip this up. <laughs> He's such a good guy. He's such a fun guy. Where does he live? Where, where do you live, Sam? I wanna come and visit you. Um, you, you, you you're great. I had fun watching this video. I feel like making lemon pasta to me. I'm not, I'm not sure about you. I'm in Italy right now. I've got lemons everywhere. I wanna have lemon pasta followed by a glass of limoncello by Nonna. Oh, oh. Do you wanna be here with me right now? My lunch is gonna be very good. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate reaction video. E ora si mangia lemon pasta. Ciao, guys.